Okay, this is the third video in the series so far. What we want to do is, I'll, I'll run the program now so we can see how far we've come already. So right now we have a graphic of a robot on the upper left hand part of the screen. What we want to do is have this robot move, this picture move across the screen to the right. So in order to do that, we need to make a new variable to hold the X coordinate of the uh, picture. So we'll create an int, so that means an integer, which is just a number without any decimal places. And we'll call it sprite x value. And before we do anything with the sprite x value, we need to set it to its initial, initial value. So we're going to go down to load content, and we're going to say sprite value, sprite x value, equals zero. So this, the x coordinate of the, the initial x coordinate will be zero, so it starts on the, all the way on the left hand side of the screen. And then what we need to do is go down to the draw method right here. And then in the rectangle, we can see this rectangle takes an integer x coordinate. So what we can do is put in our sprite x value right here. And that'll, since it starts at zero, and and it never changes it'll just be at zero and it won't move across the screen yet so let's see what happens when we run it and we get the same thing because we're not updating the x coordinate and making it move across the screen so let's go up to <clears throat> up to our update update function where we uh make the character's coordinates change and we'll say sprite x value becomes sprite x value plus one. What this will do is add one onto the sprite x value and then take that number and assign it back to the sprite value. So so initially the sprite x value is equal to zero. So we take zero plus one, that becomes one, and then we take one and we put it in the memory position of sprite x value. So the sprite x value will be one. And then when this executes the update again, it'll be sprite value, x value will be one, It'll take 1 and add it to 1, and it'll become 2. So then sprite x value will be actually 2 now. So And then we'll go to the draw, and it'll move the uh, sprite over one position. Let's see how this works. So we'll start it. And we can see that the, each time through the update and the draw method calls, we uh, have the sprite moving to the right. 